It's a vast galaxy full of wonders. Political tension, diplomacy, betrayal, and deceit. And it is yours for the taking. And you know what? It's been a while since we did anything Stellaris on the channel. And uh, it's a game I love. I thought it'd be about time we brought some back. Uh, yeah, so welcome to the first part of the Stellaris Let's Play. Uh, I'm not really sure what facts we're going to be playing or any other information on that at the moment. I uh, just wanted to jump in. I really wanted to try Stellaris again. It's been a couple of months since I played it, probably. So. Yes, new game. I feel like playing something evil, and I feel like going out of my comfort zone, and instead of doing a... Because normally my go-to is something like these guys here. Like, a really good science machines, I like that too. But I feel like going maybe something more... Mm. Do I want to do a pre-made race? Design Star Empire Reptilian, the strong, resilient, and rapid breeders. Worker happiness and slave happiness is down. Unity from jobs is negative ten percent. Earth custodianship. Machine, power drills, mass production. Do I want to make my own or do I want to play one of these ones? A criminal syndicate. Mm. Part of me wants to play like machines that are going to kill everyone again, but I've not done that in a while. But it has something I've done a lot, so I did want to go out of my comfort zone. What are these? These insectoids. Their dictatorship. Okay. A population growth from immigration plus 15%. Resettlement cost negative 25%. Edicts cost negative 20. They're fanatic of of vegetarians, giving me extra influence and resource output. Xenophobe can purge aliens, can enslave aliens, decreased opinion of other species, cannot give aliens full citizenship, cannot allow aliens full military service, and cannot use refugees' welcome special policies. But it does give me more pop speed and starbase influence cost reduction, which is really quite good. Yeah, I think we might go for these guys. The Xanad Surinamini. They're a dictatorship. They hate aliens. Leadership level cap. Uh, they do have intelligent there, so at least it's given me some of my science and my love for science. Here we can see all the DLCs I've got here. What I really need to get is uh, federations. There we go. I really need to get federations. That's then I'd have all the main ones. Recommended DLCs, federations. Uh, non adaptive though, negative ten percent to the habitability. So that'll be bad. That's kinda bad. But yes. Let's play these guys. We live on added worlds. Yeah, let's go. We're xenophobic, we hate uh, hmm. Let's go for a huge. We'll just leave that as default. AI Empires Advanced AI Starts. I hate Advanced AI Starts. I don't like AI getting Advanced Starts on me. I don't like them getting a leg up. So no, none of the AI are going to get a leg up of me from the start. Max Fallen Empires for four, we'll leave that at that. Marauder Empires. Let's 
on the galaxy and world emperors are the space most civilizations that spread most of the time fighting among themselves and oh yeah they are they are scary the marauder empires i do not like them at all tech tradition costs 25 percent Leave that at one time speed. Uh, habitable world. So let's put that up actually. Put that up to three. In your local area. Primitive civilizations. Let's leave that as normal. Victory year. Difficulty ensign. Let's put that up to captain. Scaling difficulty. Off. Yeah, aggressive is normal. Clustered, advanced neighbors off. Hyperlink density. I'm not too worried about the advanced people if they're definitely not my neighbors. I think everyone else we can just leave as a default. I think that's fine. Generating our game. In the eons since the first primitive Zani community communities took shape in the dry canyons and mesas of Zanif, our civilization has spread and prospered. The early chaotic periods of our history saw many a nation states vying with each other for power. Until we were at last united under the strongest of these, and only when guided by a single vision could we reach our full potential, and an era of stability and scientific progress followed. Now after all the dis after the discovery of the Hyperlane network the finest minds of the Xanad Sura blah 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 have finished development of our first hyperdrive. The star the star the, 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 the star themselves are within our grasp. Let's begin. So here we go, we can see in. Here is the galaxy. Very large. Got different nice names for different areas, like a nebula there, expanse there. And we can see here is my little corner of it here, in this one little system. With its orbits. Right. Let's first of all, by deciding our researches. Our physics researcher is going to research administrative AI, giving us a 5% research speed to everything. Our society researcher, definitely going to research that pop growth speed. That is great to get early on. Because uh, a good way to look at population growth speed is uh, like if you ever played uh, strategy games like uh, StarCraft. Or Age of Empires, where your workers, like uh, the person that has the better economy, almost always wins. Almost always wins the person that has the better economy. And it's the same in almost all strategy games. And your population is your main way you get better economy. You have more people. More people equal more jobs being done. More jobs being done equals more stuff getting done. And this. Stuff getting done is the rewards for the economy. Like a miner mining, he is getting stuff done. He's mining, which gets you more minerals. So yeah, right. Our engineering. Uh, we could have um research coil guns tier two. I think it is coil guns we start with on our ships. Minerals from miners. We could get that up. Or Corvette hull point improvements, giving our Corvettes an extra 100 health. Well, let's go for the minerals from the miners for the first one. Let's actually, whilst we're at it now, just take a look at our little Corvettes. What do we have here? We've got two small mass drivers and a small red laser, two shields and one piece of armor. Yeah, 
so coil guns is the upgrade to mass driver i'm pretty sure they do extra damage to shields but less to armor and lasers are the other way around so we'll be good at tearing down shields with these mass drivers and we could even go in and design ourselves our ship if we want Got interceptor missile bolt picket ship I could defend a missile boat if I wanted. Add nuclear missiles. Add uh, nuclear missiles are good against what? They're really good against. They penetrate shields, so I wouldn't need to worry about the shields. It just goes straight to hull damage. So I'd want. It wouldn't really matter which, because it, it'd only really be hitting the shields. So mass drive would probably be the way to go because I'm not really caring about. The not really going to get through to the armor anyway because nuclear missiles will be its main thing but we're not here to design that anyway so let's leave that right what else do we need to get done let's take a look at our capital see we've got 100 minerals in the bank actually so i don't think i'm going to want to do anything here at the moment we can just take a look so we've got our administration building our administrative office our research lab an alloy foundry and a civilian industries building. Take a look at the population. We can see all the jobs. And we currently have no migration. Well, we've got two types of pop. We have a little slave. We've already got a little slave underlings. chattel slavery so yeah we've got our primary race here then we've got our slaves that's going to be quite good because these will have yeah look they're good at mining leader lifespan well they're not going to have any leaders leader experience game they're not going to have any leaders so they're perfect slaves because their negative traits gives them extra points they can have which they have used because they've got zero points left so that's an extra DNA points, which then they've used to get their extra stuff here. Minerals from jobs, happiness, cannot generate leaders. These are perfect. Perfect slaves. Strong, they're good in the army too. Worker pop output. Brilliant slaves. And we got these guys. Right, so I didn't realize we had two species. Right, back to view in here. We can see right now we've got no jobs available and we've got no unemployment. So we've got exactly the number of jobs to people at the moment. So that's good to know. We have housing, we have room for nine more people. Crime, there's 1% crime. That's good to know. Right, though, where is... That's the mining station. There it is. Let's see here. The only thing I've not... Oh, there is some science ones here and here. Let's build a mining station around this little... Is this a moon? Yeah, this... No, it's a planet, I think. It's orbiting the star. Oh, there's two stars. Oh, it's three stars. I was going to say this is a binary system, but it's not even that. It's... What would you call a... What comes after binary? What's a tri system called? Is it just a tri system? Oh, well, it's a planet around the star. We're going to build a mining outpost there. Start getting those minerals incoming. Let's take uh, our science ship, which has a leader on it, with a good anomaly research speed. Let's send them here to survey that system, then survey this system. Just send them around these close by planets first of all. Looking for our second home. Right, and then uh, our military fleet. It's got 100 power, 108 power. Where are you? Let's just take a quick look at you. Where are you? These are docked in here. Okay. That's why I can't see us. 
Right, anyway, I think it's time for us to press play, because we've got no minerals, so we can't build anything on our capital, because we spent them on this. Let's let time go. See, the science ship's going to do our orders, the building ship's away to do our orders. Lovely jubbly. The research should be ticking. Let's see, 87 months till we finish that, 99 to that one, 86 till we finish that one. Okay. That's already been built. Yeah, there's the one he's building, the little mining construction station thing. Nice to see. The one thing we should take a look at... Uh, no factions. Of course there's no factions yet. Leaders. There's our governor here. Let's see what he's got. Leader experience gains. Good. Research speed for statecraft. Okay. Research speed for computing. Any decisions that would be a good idea to hear? Stops, reblock, increases ability and adds more soldier jobs. Stops all the pop growth on the planet. Bell, excess population. Send Construction our complete. Oh, I forgot every like race has its own voice pack. So that's quite good. So he's finished building that. We do have enough. We'll go build. I thought I had the construction vehicle. Build the mining station around this to farm me more energy credits. And I want to get this science one ASAP, but I just want to get my energy credits and minerals up first. And what is the first building I'm going to want to build here? They're all expensive. Found. Research the anomaly. There's a colossal impact crater that hints of something big collides with the planet on the surface. Well, research it and give me the details. Is it beneficial to us? I need to know. Let's take a look at the system anyway and see what we've got. We have a size 17 planet. And it's an arid world. This is a very good candidate for colonization. Size 17 is not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we'll colonize this planet here. Well, see, there's not much in this system at all. Just two planets, not a single moon in the star. It's a very empty system. How's he going here? Just about finished. Lovely jubbly. Let's speed things up to fast. Construction complete. Lovely stuff. Build me that sign station, then I think that's all the resources I can get out of this system. I already started off with most of them built. So for now I'm getting plenty of consumer goods. A massive crater on the air appears to be the results of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that the ship existing at a hyperlane at the maximum velocity ran the planet for reasons roughly unknown 10,000 years ago. The Xan Opelik Mokde has picked up residual substance echoes near the crash site. Reminiscent of a collapsed hypercalculated field, but as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. Oh, so yeah, we gain 118 physics research. Remarkable from that. Our understanding of physics was pushed forward by that little discovery. And also, technically, it should confirm aliens to my faction. Because obviously... We just discovered how to build these uh, engines 
if there is a crater there from 10,000 years ago that had one of these Star engines. System charted. That has been fully surveyed. Lovely. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Xanath. This is an amazing discovery. We have silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Technically, we just did that a couple of seconds ago, but oh well. Although none of the alien creatures found on Eager 2 are sentient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter ones that are. We may not be alone out there. We'll get 118 society research. Nice. And we can take a look at this planet here. There is alien life on it. We will probably colonize that planet. Contact report. Simple life forms of life. Plus, with news of the alien organism discovered some time ago, well, far from intelligent, there is life out there in capable reality, the deeply unsettling prospect. Disconcerting! Yes, because we don't like aliens. Construction complete. Ooh, what we found there, another added world. Nice. Right, you are going to go here and build me a starbase. We'll absorb that into our empire and you'll see my little this little circle here for anyone that doesn't know this game this is my empire so to speak and obviously i've just got my one little star system at the moment we're going to go build a base here and then claim this as mine too which is going to cost me the alloys and the influence the influence is kind of like your influence on the whole area like how much sway you've got and so kind of thing it's kind of to represent the fact that if i went and i didn't have the p power to push the shove the in the sort of intergalactic arena then if i went this system's mine i'm building a base here people would be like no get lost no you're not and yeah so but if you did have that sort of pull people would be like all right then you go build your base there i'm keeping an eye on you instead kind of thing you know what i mean so yes Energy could be exploited to fuel. Oh, so we found a, we found a, some. That's nice. It's nice, a unique resource. That's good because we'll need that for making advanced weaponry. I can't remember what specific resource goes for what weapons and what buildings and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we do have room to build a building here now. We do not have a unity monument, so that probably may be a good idea. A luxury resistance, personnel research lab, strongholds, halo theaters. Can it turn it into unity and indemnities? We currently have plenty of indemnities. Construction consumer goods into unity and society research. We've got an alloy foundry. Ah, you know what? I think we're just gonna build one of them instead. Right, pause, because I've got my first tradition. I think we're probably going to go for expansion first. Banish the new systems planets and see, because this will be good for the early, early game. New colonies start with one additional pop. But let's see what the adoption things. Adopting it will give us a uh, twenty-five percent to the speed our colonies deploy, and when we finish it, we will allow all of your planets to build one additional district. This will not affect habitats or ring worlds. In addition, we'll unlock one Ascension perk. The Ascension perk you get for all of them, so you can pretend that's not there when comparing them. So one additional district. Eh. I suppose that is, that's meh, but it's okay. It's good when you've got a lot of planets. Pop growth speed by 10%. Yeah, I kind of want that really early on. The colonies of 10, one extra pop. Starbase upkeep reduced by 20%. Empire Sprawl for systems and colonies is reduced by 25%. Yeah, so this will be good to... These ones will be really good for helping me go fast. 
Then these ones will be good for if I get... Well, these two will be good for if I get big. So these ones help you go fast. These ones for when you get big. Um, I would also like Discovery at some point. No, no, that's Diplomacy. This, this is Discovery. There we go. Uh, anomaly research speed increases by 20%. And also there is some science stuff in there. But yeah, we'll start off with Expansion. Boom! It's not going to help me yet because uh, I'm not deploying a colony right now but I'm definitely going to want to get to the one extra pop one ASAP before I deploy my first colony right and you can see my empire is growing it's now got both of these and so my color has expanded build me that mining station there lovely Will give me more power and we are here building another mining district yes that'll do lovely that is what we need that'll give us more minor jobs star system charted lovely so we can see here we have that size 15 planets and a couple of resources. We don't have the technology to get this resource yet. I'm trying to remember where it is. Uh, the Volatilite Moats, whatever it is. There's your unique resources there. don't have any. We don't have the technology for it anyway. But that is a very nice 5 energy star there. And potential. 15's getting complete. Uh, a wee bit lackluster, but... We're going to want it there anyway because it's a nice choke point into our what's going to be our core. Her leader has gained a level. Lovely. Shipyard. How expensive is it to build a colony ship? Yes, start building me a colony ship. For my main race. Lovely. Lovely. We'll go colonize this planet over here. Yeah, I really like this game. It's a great game. It starts off with quite simple. There's not that much decisions to make, and it's pretty straightforward your decisions. But like as the game goes on and on, it slowly the game like decisions start to get more complicated and complicated. Governor has leveled up. Nice. Then we'll bump into other factions and we're xenophobic, so we're probably going to want to declare war on them and conquer them, turn them into slaves. You know, just all the good stuff. All the good stuff. We're an insectoid and we are evil. Build me a mining station. Star system charted. Oh, that's a nice system, isn't it? Oh, very nice mine there. And unusual that an asteroid belt has so little trade value. No, so little mineral output potential. The trade value is not bad. I'm going to need to pay attention to how trade value works again. It just generates you extra credits, I'm pretty sure. Should I actually take a look at my star base here see what I've got a shipyard a trade Construction hub complete. so we do have a trade hub so collection range one now that's one away so there's no point building a trade hub here as well because this one's already collecting for it oh we've got another planet here a tomb world 15 okay construction ship there is finished anomaly found some kind of unknown structures are floating in the gas giant's upper atmosphere. They appear to be using the intercetic lift to remain buoyant. Research it. Go and add here to my civilization. The shipyard just finished my colony ship. So we're going to move to there. Uh, where's, 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 claims, traditions, 
Seven months. Right, good, because I really want to get this before. Do I need to... A small ash of colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of the colony. It appears to have been self-sufficient to germane from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago, though ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. We've downloaded all the data found on the colony's limited data banks. Some society research. Colony start with one additional pop. Now, is that when... Because there's deployment time. Has received report of the alien remnants, and with some apprehension, the leaving in questions are now widely considering to be definitive proof of unknown forces once having been active in the galaxy. Though some prominent Zani thinkers reject this in favor of identifying the traces of freak geological formations as results of curious natural phenomena. Okay, dump days will always exist, right? Now back to what I was saying, if I put it down now, the colony down now, it will pause so I've got time to think about this, does that count as it's starting now so I won't get the one additional pop? Or is it, because there's a period of deployment period for when you put down a colony, I can't remember how long it is, we'll just say 20 months, I think it's a lot longer than 20 months, um, but there's a deployment period. Where it is literally just establishing, you can't build anything, can't do anything. It's just basically like an age of empire. The colony is one villager building the building kind of thing. And then once it's done, you can start using it and start treating it like a fully functioning building, like it would an age of empires kind of thing. Does it count as starting when you first start building it or when it finishes? I don't know. It's only four months, so you know, I think we're going to wait anyway. The colony ship might even take that long to get there. Oh wait, nope. It's there now. I'll just come stand here. Construction complete. Lovely. And that was just two people leveling up and then construction complete here. Build me mining stations there. I'm not that bothered about what order, just get it done. The colony ship is now waiting. It's not going to set me back that much waiting, just to be sure we're getting that one extra pop. Hit that ground running. One month, yes. Yeah. See, it's not slowing me down much at all. Come on, there we go. Star system charted. It's probably when it deploys, but I just wanted to make sure. We're not going to name it, we're just going to let it be that prime. Come on. There we go. Progress. Our colony ship has gently touched down on top of a large flat mesa near the equator of Egror Prime. This location will serve as the first landing site and the rivers that flow in the canyons below provide easy access to fresh water. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement and its reactor core is the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents, prehab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin disembarking in large numbers, the first Zani city on an alien world. A great day for the Zanids! So we can see here colonizing planets. We can look here, here's this bar here, this is the sort of building bar if it was Age of Empires with our little villager building it. You can see we're finished building here. You can see there's one job spare. You can see the planet's production here. And it's trade value. Two worlds not good for me. Whoa, what on earth is this system? Construction complete. 
Look at all those asteroid rings. This might be a great place to mine. It's probably going to take a long time to survey it too. The construction ship at here. Because you can only build a base in places you fully surveyed. Which is why we're sort of following the line that our surveyor there is doing. And you know what actually we really should do? We should have done it already. You can tell it's been a long time since I've played this game. Because we should have already built ourselves a second science ship. But oh well, live and learn. I forgot. Uh, we know without a doubt that actually, you know what? I'm checking the time. It's time for us to call it par. So I'm going to say I hope you have all enjoyed this. Join me all in the second part. Where we're going to continue on. And uh, hopefully we'll bump into our first alien races. And maybe we'll start building up a fleet and have ourselves sort of an early game skirmish war. And get ourselves a quick land grab on the go and some more slaves for the Empire. Hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye -zy bye.